What's up guys, Final Heals here bringing you another raid healing guide for Eden's Gate, the second boss this time, Voidwalker. Voidwalker is an interesting fight in Eden's Gate. Has a lot of mechanics that go on at the same time, which can become a little difficult. But time is a big deal in this fight. You need to pay attention to your debuff timers at all times, and pay attention to the animations on other players just in case they accidentally mess up, as this is a newer raid. As with all raids, you want to pre-shield the tanks or pre-shield the raid, depending on what type of damage that you're expecting. The first spell cast by Voidwalker is called Doom Void Guillotine. This shoots a large telegraph in front and behind the boss that will deal large damage if you stand in it. The next mechanic doesn't have a name, but I'm going to call it Demon Spawn A. Uh, Demon Spawn in the middle of the map from the top to the bottom. Uh, you just want to avoid their path, otherwise you will take some damage. The next attack Voidwalker will make is a Doom Void Slicer. You'll just need to stack on the boss to avoid the damage. The next mechanic that will occur is the Demon Spawn B. Demons will spawn from the north, south, east, and west, and they will slowly move towards the boss. Whenever they reach the boss, they will deal a lot of damage, so just move to the edge of the map to avoid this damage. The next attack made by Void Walker will be Shadow Plane. This is a high damage tank buster on both the main tank and the off tank. Pre-shield and make sure you top them off. Void Walker will then cast Dark Fire 3. This will mark four different members with the uh, dark red circle. They just need to spread out to avoid the raid taking extra damage. The next attack is a pretty common one. It's called Unholy Darkness. Just stack on the marked player to help mitigate. Knowing how to handle these two spells in conjunction with one another is very important for the rest of the fight. The boss will use these in conjunction with the next spell I talk about a lot, so you really need to pay attention to how they work. The most important spell that is cast by Void Walker is called Spell in Waiting. It adds a detonation timer to the next spell that the Void Walker will cast. You need to watch the debuff timers that are afflicted upon your allies as well as the animations above their heads to know whenever you need to spread or stack. The boss will now use these spells in an isolated instance to demonstrate the base mechanic. Here an augmented version of Darkfire 3 is used, players will need to spread out and stay spread out until the debuff timer completes. The boss will then use an augmented version of Unholy Darkness. Everyone will need to stack and stay stacked again until the debuff timer completes. Three of the raid members will be marked with an augmented Darkfire 3, and one member will be marked with an augmented Unholy Darkness. The timers here are a little lengthy, so just make sure you aren't impatient. Stay spread out if you receive the Darkfire 3, and stay stacked if you did not. As I mentioned earlier in the video, you can look at the players impacted by these spells and see a countdown timer over the top of their head. This is a good way to keep track of other players' debuff timers, so you can make sure to stay away from who you need to stay away from and stack on who you need to stack. Quickly top off the raid here as everyone will have just received a lot of damage, even if this is executed properly. Boss will now cast Entropy, uh, so pre-shield and pre-hot to be ready to top off the raid after the damage lands. This again will summon a fist from the side of the map, so make sure you move to the side that the fist originates from so it doesn't knock you off the map. Voidwalker will cast another quick Doom Void Guillotine, followed by another fist being spawned on the other side of the map. Quickly move to the opposite side while dodging the Demon Spawn A mechanic as you move across. As you may have noticed, the boss is starting to run back through previous mechanics from earlier stages in the fight. This will continue along with the increased difficulty of combining the spell and waiting mechanic with the entropy mechanic from both sides and the demon spawn mechanic. The key to completing the fight from here is to not let the telegraphs freak you out. You will always have plenty of time to stand in the purple puddles, then stack up, and then spread out. 
There's a simple rinse repeat of this for the rest of the fight. Another thing to note is whichever telegraph occurs first is the one that's going to complete first. Don't feel bad if you are tricked by this little mechanic in the beginning. It takes some practice uh, and you are trained in this game to stack whenever the telegraph shows you or spread when the telegraph shows you. So this kind of goes against everything the game has taught you so far. If you enjoy what you see here, please subscribe to the channel for more content. If you have any questions or suggestions for new content, please leave them down in the comment section below. As always, thanks for watching and enjoy the rest of the fight.